Hey everybody, Technical Wizard here, and today I have my old Power Macintosh 7600. And um, what I did with it is installed a USB card. I'll show you real quick. Right here, it has a thumb drive hooked to it. And I'm not really sure if it works yet. I just put it in there. The iPad wasn't working, so I started using my phone, which is what I'm using now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook in my mouse. That one's not even good anymore. And I'm using this really yellowed keyboard. So um, go ahead and hook this in. And we will start the machine up. Turn on the monitor. Tell us on the system. Now go ahead and grab me a chair real quick. All right. This unit still has OS 8.5 on it, which I'm not even sure what it originally came with. But this is how I got it, and it came from a school environment, and the last time it was used, I think, was in 2003 from looking at the files. Then they upgraded, I bet you because these couldn't really use internet. But, um, other than me putting the USB card in, this thing hasn't been fired up in about six months. And, um, yeah, it's legit. Same as that one and those various Macs over there. Still hadn't tried the Presario 1200, which I'm going to try that whenever I can. Just so y'all know, I hadn't forgot about it. And just to say, in the Blue Dalmatian iMac G3, the original hard drive right here wasn't working exactly right. So I put a new Seagate hard drive in, which I'll show that in a little bit after I try the USB card in this Power Macintosh. Any day now, we should be getting desktop or finish loading or however long it wants to take. And if you're wondering, this is the HP Pavilion MX50 monitor from my Uncle Jimmy's HP, which is chilling all the way over there. I'm probably going to sell it soon because I never even touch it anymore. It's just taking up space. So why keep it when you can turn it into money? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And obviously the PRAM battery is dead in this unit, like all of the other ones. Seriously need to get some PRAM batteries for these things. Go ahead and show you about this computer. It is running macOS 8.5, which is pretty, pretty old. 72 megabytes of memory, which is not that much. This thing has a 132 meg megahertz processor. I was about to say megabytes for some reason. But the hard drive is a 1.2 gig. Which, if you try to put Team Fortress 2 on it, it'd take up all of it. And the thumb drive is hooked up to the PowerPC... Or, not PowerPC card, dang it, I'm stupid. But, um, the PCI card. And, um... Don't think it's recognizing the card. Go ahead and open this one. Yep, same thing. It doesn't recognize the card. Dang it. But, um... We came, we saw, we failed with this unit, but that's not all, folks. I'm gonna make a video of something else. So, um... We'll go ahead and shut this unit down. And find something else. Okay, so I decided I'd make a video of the iMac G3s. Now, um... Here we have the Blue Dalmatian iMac G3. This one, as I said uh, earlier ago, the original hard drive went bad, so I dug through my pile of hard drives and found the original, not the original, but um, the Seagate hard drive that came out of that Snow iMac over there. It wasn't the original, it was just an aftermarket one. So I took that hard drive out because I put an Apple Seagate, not Seagate, but jeez, oh, Maxter hard drive in there. And I put that Seagate hard drive in the Dalmatian because that hard drive doesn't work anymore. So um, we'll go ahead and start it up.
Um, this hard drive, and I got it. Had 10.3.2 Panther, and um, when I turned it on after forever, it happened to have OS. I put OS 9.1 on it, and um, yeah, I found OS 9.1 still on it, so I set this iMac to boot into it, and yeah, 7600 7, still running over there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and hit enter because the PRAM battery is dead. Okay, this thing is still booting up. It doesn't have much on it. So when I can, I'm going to try and put the original setup back on it. And, um, yeah, most of my iMac G3 speakers are gone. The only ones that pretty much have speakers is the Bondi Blue, Dalmatian, Blueberry, Strawberry, and the Ruby. All of the other ones blew up. Because they're Harmon and Carden speakers, the foam in there gets really old, and um, yeah. So um, here we are on the desktop. Okay, I know the PRM battery's dead. I'll have to get another one one day. This has OS 9.1 with 512 megabytes of RAM. We'll go to the system profiler. Um. 600 megahertz power pc g3 just so y'all know the hard drive is a seagate um say 40 gig although it says 39.97 40 gig technically who cares um yeah 6888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888
All right, so, um, pause it for a second. Okay, so I paused it, so, um, y'all couldn't see my personal information, but whatever. This iMac does work now, and, um, this is how it's gonna stay. Because it's original, pretty much. Go ahead and shut it off. And, um, I did restore the lime to its original glory. But, um... As I told my best friend Andrew Rouse, go subscribe to him. But, um, as I told him, the Lime iMac G3 was dead a few days ago because of. I'll show you real quick if I can find it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the Power Macintosh off. Um, this RAM was in the Lime iMac G3 and it was dead. So, I'm gonna have to throw that RAM away just so I don't get it mixed up in there. But, um, the Lime iMac G3 works now. Yeah, this is being a really big video because I just feel like videoing a lot now. There's display. This thing needs a, a new display because it'll turn purple a lot of times. Now, let me shut it off real quick. Oh, there it goes. It was beginning to change purple. Ugh, just gotta unplug this thumb drive, which I left it on all night, restoring it. So, yeah, it was set to boot off of the thumb drive. But, um,. When we originally got this unit, oh, there it goes, look at that. Yeah, this display is horrid. So, um, the Grape iMac G3 doesn't work at the moment. Because, oh, look at that. Yeah, this display is going dead. The Grape iMac G3 doesn't work at the moment because it always freezes on startup, even when I put new hard drives in it. But, um, yeah, this video is mainly about old Macs. But, um, while that's finishing loading, I'll show y'all the issue of the Grape iMac G3. Y'all see it just froze. And the cursor is gone. So I'm going to just shut it off. Probably what I'm going to do is hunt for more iMac G3s. And if it has a good display, steal it out of there and put it in this one. Y'all you know, see that? Yes, this, 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 this display is getting horrible. Oh, y'all see that? It just changed colors again. Like the tan. But um, when we originally got this unit, it was a piece of junk. I mean, the dis the inner bezel was completely destroyed. The CRT, like, halfway back here was just shattered glass. There was, like, bezel pieces right here. There's still some, as you can see. Um, there was bezel pieces in the speakers, which messed them up. This is the original mouse, which didn't work, but... Somehow, Andrew managed to fix it. This is the, not the original keyboard, but, um, keyboard we got with it. The top of it was broken, so we took it off, and as you can see, there's rust in there. That's probably why I was getting rid of it, because it was a piece of junk. Go ahead and shut this down. But yeah, guys, guess that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Bye.